Hi guys, Drinking James here, doing another video today. That's right, folks, coming back at you. And yeah, this is just a little layout I built, and I got bored, so I decided to uh, film it. Now, those of you who are wondering, no, I'm not ripping off MPS, because I'm not doing a whole mini layout series. Because, one, that's just wrong to do, um, to rip off somebody. It's not wrong to do a mini layout series, because I actually like it. I just thought, you know, I'd just film it because I was bored. Plus, I haven't done a layout in months. So, uh, one thing about this video. If you can spot PT Boomer in this video, then you can get, you can get to name a title in Season 4. Jeez, Thomas doesn't want to stay still. Anyway, we've come to Ellsbridge Station, where we have Thomas pulling Amy and Clarabelle and Percy pulling the mail. Let's see, let's go in Thomas's line first. So you come under, um, come under this bridge section, or bears on, but we'll come back to there later. We come to Mavis, that's a crawl site, and you see Lori's on the side, so it doesn't take a genius to figure out what I'm referencing. And there's a butch right there, and Mavis is pulling the rock crusher car, so you come under the double line iron bridge. You come back past the windmill, so you, let me turn it around, that looks better. Yeah. There's a sort of scrap Lori, and there's a switch that goes to this switch. At the sawmill, but we'll come back there later. And then here's a. Oh, sorry. To affect, um, that's a sort of garbage truck. Here's a Oliver with three gray faces. Now, yeah, I have three gray faces. Check out my unboxing video. And you come around to here. There's another crossing. And there's Birdie. And we're at the Soto Lumber Co. Where James has pointed the coach that came with the loading of the big blue engine set. And there's he is at a signal box, and we come to a four-way cross. Come this way, we go back to Thomas's line. So it's like a giant loop right here. Or we can come on to Toby's line. And I want to show something interesting I did to Toby. I painted his side plane. It's blue. Very interesting. So come back this way, Toby's line. And just so you know, if you didn't know why I painted them blue, it's a really serious color. Come back this way through the Crosby Tunnel. And you go up along the Double Long Iron Bridge. Or you see Gordon on the Express. Come down to a three-way switch where you see Flying Scots. We're actually going to go this way. We pass Duck who's playing Old Slow Coach. And uh, another coach. This used to be Victoria, but I'm thinking about changing it. An old slow coach will slowly get a name in my series very soon. So you come down this hill, and you come to a switch that connects that switch over there where Toad and Oliver are, and you come this way to the oil derrick. So that's very interesting. And it just comes around. So we're going to go back to the three switch, and we're going to show off something new I've gotten recently the coal station. Check out the unbox video on that item. Here we have Logan shunting some coal cars, and I didn't, I couldn't fit the coal loader from the Logan set in, but I probably will try to do that, maybe when I do sets with the coal station. And it comes over to a crossing. This line comes to where Percy is pulling the mail coach. And then for those of you who don't know, this is a 1996 Percy given to me by my good friend Eli, or otherwise known as Thomas Wayne Tails. So you continue along Percy's line, come around to this switch, where Derek is, and he's broken down, as you can see, and he comes straight, across the double crossover track, here's Hero, and we're going to backtrack just for a second, come up this line, Hero's pulling some iron lobe, past the iron works, so you know, because that makes sense, scrap cars are new, and we come up this way, to the back to the four-way crossing, so we covered all four tracks there. So we go here. Cross the double crossover, both tracks lead into the fire station, which I got for Christmas. And you see Bell and Flynn talking. They have a little personal signing. The main line has a nice main line. We come here to, uh oh, accident scene. That's pretty nasty right there. So we got Harvey and Rocky, and there's George in the background, trying to clear up this mess that Stafford caused. Come on, Stafford. But you probably assume that the trucks probably pushed him down this hill. Speaking of the hill, let's go up it. So up this hill, we see Bear pulling a very long goods train. 
that came from that switch. So if you follow that switch, you go all the way back there, and you see go back to the switch where Toad's at. So there's a lot of switches in that area. And come this way, we go to the top track of the song where Henry's pulling my Henry's fourth fog car. We go up to here where Gator is pulling uh, three tankers and a brake van. And we come to this switch, which one of the tracks leads to the transfer table where Donald is at. And this switch comes back to Stafford. So it's just basically cut through line. Well, this track goes to Wellsworth Station where Edward's at. And he's pulling the Stevens Castle coaches, the Bulge, and there's Bulgy. And they lead back to that switch. So we're going to hop across this line. And there's the Flying Scotsman again. And we go past this T switch and we go to where Donald is. And there's Terrence from Trevor in the field. Come this way. You come where Harvey and Rocky are past George underneath the coal loader and to where Mavis is. I think that covers the entire land. There's not much to cover. I will be planning to do some reviews as well as more Cranky Got the Customs and more unboxings that come. That's right, more unboxings. So, yeah, this is Train King Games signing off. And that's it, everybody. Good night.